I try to make a switch that switched a relay or a lamp uh, around a voltage from approximately 12 volts and I use the classic uh, op-amp circuit that's here and here with a 741 op-amp So in a comparator uh, 741 op-amp circuit you always see that on one electrode from the op-amp there is a certain voltage often derived by the uh, supply voltage. So here we have a voltage divider that sets one of the points on the op-amp to a certain voltage and here on the other electrode uh, we have also a voltage divider and when the voltages between uh, the electrodes from the op-amp differ somewhat uh, the output is activated and that means that a, a LED lights up or a relay is activated etc etc. And here we have the completely classical op-amp circuit. Here is a regulator from 5 volt. So here we have 5 volts. The transistor is a BD140 PMP transistor. It has in its collector lead a relay and it's a special relay. It's a typical print, print relay for 5 volts made for computer circuits etc. Here you see that relay. This white relay is a typical print relay from Siemens, Germany. It has a resistance from approximately 90 DC ohms. But uh, the more interesting, important uh, things to tell when the voltage here differs the output switches. I made this circuit to um, switch approximately 12 volt but I found out that it did, did not work that way. It only switches now uh, between um, 4.7 volts and 6 volts. Or, uh, we have a kind of hysteresis here. So the relay switches out and in around these voltages. And the difference between these two voltages is the hysteresis. So it hangs around voltages between 4.7 and 6 and finally at 6 the uh, relay is activated. When the voltage goes down the relay stays activated but at 4.7 volts it falls off not activated any longer and when we uh, raise the voltage again to approximately 6 volts the relay starts to function again. A very simple circuit, completely classic. You can read uh, much more about this circuit on the internet. A classical comparator circuit. But because uh, when we work on 5 volts etc. Um, my experience is that all kinds of circuits get critical when we go below 6 volts. Now we have here 5 volts. And it all has to do with the properties from transistors, etc., etc., uh, their barrier voltage, etc. Um, but whatever. This is the circuit, how I made it. Here you see it in real. Uh, this is the one potentiometer here that sets a certain voltage. Uh, to a 2K2 potentiometer, it sets the voltage to the 
pin 2 from the op amp and here we have the variable voltage set with the help of this uh, potentiometer. But I have to say that um, such a, a circuit on low voltages um, has its own ways of handling uh, different voltages at its input. So quite a stubborn circuit in a certain way. For instance, when we disconnect here this wire, the whole circuit starts to switch on uh, voltages between 4.7 and 6 volt. So even if there's no connection at all here, the whole circuit keeps switching on 4.7 volts. And that means, in fact, that when here there is an endless res uh, resistor from say 10 mega ohms or so, the whole circuit works, uh, stay to work, keeps working properly. Very strange, but uh, that's the way uh, how this circuit works. Such a comparator circuit works, in this case, in this schematic. Uh, and I can't uh, change this behavior of the circuit. I've made this circuit many, many times, also for higher voltages. And uh, um, I am sure I'm gonna, ma gonna make, I am able to make a circuit that switches on uh, 12 volt or 14 volt, etc. But it takes another approach. Perhaps the very uh, stabilized voltage here play, plays a role too. Though we need a stabilized voltage here to give the voltage on the op amp, on the reference pin, a very precise voltage, stabilized voltage. That's necessary in these kinds of circuits. Again, the other circuit. I hope it's visible and clear. A PMP transistor driven on its base by a 5K7 resistor, of course by the current coming out of the 6 pin here. And this is the LED. So uh, I want to demonstrate it now. Here we have the circuit in real. Here we have a power supply. Here we have a small lamp connected to the relay, so we can study where uh, the relay switches. And I hope we can hear now the relay click when it switches off. On. Off and on. And in fact I have to move the voltage very very carefully to see where precisely the circuit switches off and on. I cannot do that in this video, it takes too much time, but I found out that here it switches off and here it switches on. So there is a certain margin in between where the circuit switches off and on. So that's the hysteresis, hysteresis from the circuit. Uh, I hope I can publish in the future a circuit that switches on out and off, sorry, on and off on somewhat higher voltages. And in that case we can always use the uh, 741 op amp, one of the more basic op amps invented in the past, in the 70s or the 80s. Very good op amp. 
not with a high frequency band, but for all these switching uh, applications, it's a good op amp.